what's up everybody welcome back moving on to the next question we have to determine the derivative of f of x equals the square root of x squared plus one from first principles and whenever you see a question asking you to find the derivative using first principles you know you're gonna have to do it the long way do uh, using the difference quotient because notice that we can find the derivative of this pretty quickly using the chain rule since they're asking for first principles we need to use the difference quotient. So we know the derivative of a function, as we went over in the lecture videos, is the limit as h goes to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. So for this f of x plus h expression, we just have to plug in x plus h for this x value here in brackets. So we can rewrite this as the limit as h goes to 0 f of x plus h would just be the square root of x plus h squared plus 1. And then we're going to be subtracting f of x, which is just the square root of x squared plus 1. And this is still all over h. So notice this f of x plus h, we took x plus h, plugged it in for x. So you got to make sure that that is in brackets. And now what you do, or what we're trying to do, is we're trying to get rid of this h in the denominator, so then we can plug in a value of 0 for h. And the way we do that in this case is we're going to have to rationalize this numerator. So we're going to have to multiply it by its conjugate, which would be x plus h squared plus 1. And then we would change the sign here, plus the square root of x squared plus 1. And this is going to be all over the same thing. So it's like we're multiplying the entire expression by 1. And then what's going to happen, the next line, is we'll have these two will be a difference of squares. So you just have to multiply the n terms by, uh, by themselves. So this term multiplied by that term, since they're the same, the square roots would just go away. So we'd have x plus h squared plus 1. And then we would be subtracting this term multiplied by that term is just x squared plus 1, like that. All over these two terms, we can't really do anything with them, so we'll just keep them separate. We'll have the h here, and then we'll have the square root of x plus h squared plus 1 plus the square root of x squared plus 1. And then notice here how we can expand this. x plus h squared, that's like x plus h times x plus h. So we would FOIL all of that out. And when we do that, we would end up I'm going to erase this plus 1 here. I'm going to write it a little smaller. We'll end up with x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. So that's what this ends up being. And then remember, we had that plus 1 there as well. And then notice, when we distribute that negative inside this bracket, the x squareds will cancel out, and then the 1s will cancel out as well. So if we continue this up here, Let's rewrite everything. So we got the limit <clears throat> as h goes to 0. And then notice that in the numerator, we're left with 2xh plus h squared. We could factor out an h from those two terms. And we'll be left with 2x plus h. And that's going to be all over the same denominator. So h and then the square root of x plus h squared plus 1 plus the square root of x squared plus 1. And then notice the h's will cancel out. And now we can plug in 0 for h. So this h here in the numerator will go to 0. This h here in the denominator will go to 0. And we'll be left with 2x all over the square root of x squared plus 1 plus the square root of x squared plus 1. And notice these two are like terms, and there's like a 1 in front of them. That's the coefficient, quote unquote. So we can add these two, and it would be 2 root x squared plus 1. And then notice how the 2s will cancel out. 
So our final answer is x over the square root of x squared plus 1. And that is the derivative of that function. And we did it with first principles using the difference quotient. And because now you know how to take the derivative of pretty complex functions using the chain rule, you can check your answer. So we can take this function on the side if we rewrite it as x squared plus 1 to the power of a half, right, change that radical to a rational exponent, and then we just apply the chain rule. So the derivative would be bring the half down, x squared plus 1, subtract 1 from the exponent, 1 half minus 1 is negative a half, times the derivative of the inside bracket, which is 2x. Notice that the 2's will cancel out. We're left with an x at the top, and then the x squared plus 1 to the power of negative a half. We bring that down to the denominator to change it to a positive exponent. And this and this are the same. We can just change this x squared plus 1 to a half to a radical. So whenever you're doing a question where they ask you to find the derivative using first principles, you can always check your answer after using the quick shortcuts that we learned throughout the unit.